In FitchCam 2012 R2 we have introduced a new option that allows you to use the alternative 5 axis position for 2.5D features. Now we did previously introduce this uh, in FitchCam 2010 uh, which allowed you to do it for surface milling features. Um, we can now utilize the same option for the 2.5D features. So in this example I've got this turned part with a couple of recesses and in this case you can see they are slightly angled and we also have an angled hole going through the model. So what we want to do is we want to machine these. Now if I go ahead and just turn on my machine simulation, I'm using a Morisiki NT4250 in this example. So we come in, we clamp the part and then I've got traditional operations, so facing, outside turning, and finishing, a bit of boring. So now we come into the position, you can see the first uh, operation is the side operation. And in this case the, uh, the head of the machine has come in uh, and starts to machine in this quadrant uh, of the machining area. Now we do run the risk of going too far in the y direction on this side of the machine. Uh, we could have a limitation problem whereby uh, the head of the machine can't actually reach uh, this side of the, the part. So what we want to do is we want to flip this into the other quadrant on this side. And we do this uh, by uh, simply checking a 5-axis positional uh, alternative option in the feature. So let's stop the simulation. And you'll notice that I've got uh, several features here. So I've got some side operations and some hole operations. If I go into side 1, into roughing, into the milling tab, and notice there is an option here, use alternative 5-axis position. So I can check that option, apply, and also apply it to the finishing as well. Apply and say OK. The second one has been done for you. So you'll notice this has already been checked. And you'll also notice there is a hole here as well, so I'm going to do it for the hole. So this one is already off. So let's turn alternate 5 axis position on. And for the drilling operation as well. So what that does basically gives me the alternative position uh, and allows me to utilize any uh, negative B-axis motion that I have uh, on the machine. So let's just do a single step again. Again, run through the facing operation, the turning, and the boring. So now the machine has rotated. Let's just do a single step. Notice now that we have a small amount of negative B-axis. And you can see in this case the position of the feature has moved on to the other side. So I can single step that. And you'll notice it continues to stay in that quadrant for the spot drill and the hole drilling as well. So that's the ability to flip uh, and choose the alternative 5-axis position on the machines.